glad, as always, that you are tuning in to Children's Ministry. So let's do it. Let's get the bump, your phones, your Bible, whatever you have that Bible on so we can get into God's Word for you on today and for me. And we're going to see what He is saying to us and how we can apply His Word unto our lives for this week. So as you get in those things, I will pray. Heavenly Father, we come to thank you for this time. We thank you that you are God. You are Lord over us, Lord. We thank you for this time that we're in your word, that we're able to meditate upon your word today, that you will reveal to us those things which you have for us on this day, that we may apply your word to our lives, oh Heavenly Father, that we will do things pleasing in your sight. In your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, faith kids. Last week, we talked about, I know you remember, right? We talked about that we can't keep, that your word has to be your word. Your memory verse, if you remember in Matthew chapter 5, I know you said it, that memory verse on last week and how God revealed it to you and what he needed you to know in it. So remember, don't never forget to do your memory verses each and every week. It's for our learning that we're studied to show ourselves approved. So on this week, we're going to be talking about love your enemies. Again, fake kids, love your enemies. He did not say love your family, love your friends, your mom, your dad, your granny, your sister, your brother. No, he says what? love your enemies. That means those people who we don't want to love, right? And why we don't want to love them? Because they're doing what they more than likely are being mean to us or ugly or whatever the situation and case may be. But God tells us that we are to love those people. We are to love our enemies. So let's look in our scripture for this week. Turn over in your Bible to Luke chapter 6. And we're going to be reading starting with verse number 27 and in verse 27 and 28, that will be your memory verse to meditate upon for this week. Matthew chapter six, verse 27 and 28. We're going to read on further, but I just want to point out your memory verse right now. And it reads in Matthew 27. Are you there, fake kids? It says, but to you who are willing to listen, I say, what fake kids, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who hurt you. All right. Did we understand the word, the commandment that God has given us in these two scriptures? He says that we're to do what? Love our enemies. Love those people who talk about you. Love those people. We're supposed to love our enemies. And then he says we're to do good to them. Those who hate us. Oh, yeah, we praying for them. That is saying a lot. I know you're thinking like, how can it be? How are we supposed to do these things? Is it easy to do those things, fake kids? Think about it. Can we love those people easily? Not really, right? But because God is with us, he helps us. We're able to love our enemies no matter what. So let's look at this scripture. I want to read those two verses again from the Amplified Version just to kind of give you a little more clarity on those scriptures. It says, but I say to you who hear me and pay attention to my words, love that is unselfishly Seek the best or higher good for, for your enemies. It says that we are to unselfishly seek something good for our enemies. And who are our enemies? You know, those people maybe that's talking about you. Maybe they said something, you know, that they shouldn't have said or they did something that you didn't like. You know, those people who mistreat you, those who hate you. He says that we are to unselfishly always try to do good to do good to them think higher good we want the best for them meaning if i have something i'm i'm gonna give it to them because we want them to have it better right we're seeking the better or the higher good for them so no matter what i have i'll i'm willing to give it to them so that they can you know whether it's a toy 
whether it's part of your lunch, I don't know. But he says, we're to unselfishly do good to them, seeking the higher good for them, for those who hate you. Bless and show kindness to those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. That is a lot. He says that we're to bless them. We're to show kindness to them. Those people who say, I don't like you. I hate you. Are you not my friend? Those people, we are to love them fake kids. We are to bless them. We're to show kindness to them. We're to do good to them. We're to put them even, what? Like we would put ourselves. Because the scripture tells us that we're to love others, right? And we to treat others as we love, love them as like we love ourselves. So if you love yourself, you do good to yourself, right? You give yourself nice things. Well, if we love our enemies, we're doing that too. We're giving them nice things. We're blessing them. We're showing them kindness. And that's what God says that we are to do. So we're going to continue to read on in our verses in the New Living Translation. We're going to go to verse 29. And give me one second, fake kids. Chapter 6. My Bible closed. Let me go to the Amplified. I'm going to read it out the Amplified. It reads, whoever strikes you on the cheek, offer him the other one. Also, simply ignore insignificant insults or losses and do not bother to retaliate. Maintain your dignity. dignity. Whoever takes away your coat and do not withhold your shirt from him either. I know you're like, what are we talking about? Are we talking about enemies? Are we talking about clothes? What are we talking about? God is telling us that we're to do good, show kindness to our enemies. And so if it says in the scripture, if your enemy slaps you on one side, just turn the other way. So I know you're like, if they hit me, I'm going to hit them back. And you know, we get that's because we're not being kind, right? But we think about God loving us, right? That's how we're able to do that. We think about when things that we didn't do right ourselves and maybe we said some things and how Jesus died for all that he's done for us and how God forgives us. Then we're able to do that. We're able to love our enemies. We're able to say, even though you're mistreating me, I'm just going to be kind to you. Even though I don't want to or I don't like to, I'm going to be kind to you because God says we're to love them. We're to show kindness to them. So no matter what they do, no matter what they say, the scripture says that we're to ignore those insults, whatever they're saying about you or whomever, ignore those things. And then it tells us don't retaliate. I know you know what retaliate means because that's what we do. When someone does something to us, we retaliate, right? We want to get back at them. So it's saying don't get back at them. No, we are to do as God would do. And that is how we can love our enemies because we think of ourselves. We love ourselves, right? And so we think that, okay, because this is what I want. I can do it to them. You give them exactly the same thing that you want. Let's continue to read on. It says in verse 30, give to everyone who asks of you whoever takes away what is yours do not demand it back treat others the same way you want them to treat you again did you read that fake kids along with me it's saying you're giving to others then don't be seeking to get it back you know i'm not, okay i'm gonna do this for you but you got to do something for me no, we're not doing it to get something back. We're doing it because we're showing God's love and he says we're to love those. So we're doing things for others. Those people who, you know, maybe don't, are not nice to us. Those ones who, you know, might have said something bad or did something bad. Maybe they threw a ball and hit you or whatever. We are to love them. So we're to show kindness to them. And it says that we're not going to get back at them. We're not going to retaliate. But we're going to just go the extra mile, fake kids. We're going to go out our way to be kind, go out our way to show goodness to them. Right, fake kids? 
I know you are. You're going to go out your way to be kind to those who are not kind. Even though they're not kind, we're going to show them God's love in us so that they can understand because we're to be witnesses to others. So who do they see? Do they see God? Do they know God? They might have never heard of God, but they see how kind you are. They see how forgiving you are. And that way they know, okay, th that's, they might even ask you, why do you, you know, kind to me? Why you treat me so nice? Why are you doing these things? And you have that great opportunity to share with them that it's because of who? It's because of God in us that we're able to do these things and you can tell them the scripture says that i'm to love people i'm to love even when others are not nice to me i am to be nice and so that's how others that's how we witness fake kids that's how your friends will see god come to know his love is how we're being treated and that's the reason that's how we are to do it we are to show god's love to others and that's the way to show it. So do if we're getting back at them and we're retaliating and we're being mean, just like they're being mean, where is the love of God? That is not how God does us. Does he be mean because we're not listening? No. Does God be mean to us because you know we're not reading our Bibles or we're not praising him or any of those things? No, because we still know he's a loving God. No matter what we do, he is a loving God. Let's continue to read on verse number 33. It says, oh, let's go to, um, I'm sorry, 32. If you only love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect to receive it back, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to expecting to receive the same amount back. Again, fake kids, it's telling us what we're supposed to do. It's saying that if you give, then don't expect it back. If you're lending them something and you're letting them borrow a pen or a pencil or whatever, don't be saying, oh, I gave you a pencil yesterday, I want my pencil back. No, we give it to them. That's God's love showing through you that you can do that. It says, don't be giving it to them just to think, oh, I'm going to get it back. Well, no, I'm not going to lend it to you because I know you don't give nothing back. So I'm, I'm going to give it to Johnny because Johnny, I gave him something one time and he paid me back. He gave it back so I can do it to him. But you don't ever give me anything back. No, that's not what we're supposed to do, faith kids. We're to show our God's love. And so we lend not expecting to receive anything back. It says that even sinners know how to lend to people who love them. We only give to, you know, our sisters, our brothers, you know, maybe we'll do something because our parents said, maybe we do something because grandma, because we love them. We do those things because we love them. I'm going to help them. But what about those who don't love us back? We are to still love them and show what God's love does, right? So it doesn't matter what we're doing. We're going to do what God does. We're going to show his love to others. So it's not about giving to somebody to get something back. You know, birthdays, Christmas time, we give things to others and we're not expecting to get a gift back. We give because we want to show love to someone. So we're not just giving them a gift so you can give me a gift back. No, no, no. We're giving because of God's love and we're giving because we love because of God's love, we can give to others, not expecting to receive things back for them. Just giving because God is good. Just giving to others to let them know how God's love is working in your life, faith kids. You're able to love others, not because they love you, but you're able to love others because of the love of God that is in you. You're able to show kindness to people who are not kind. Just as the homeless people, we don't, we don't give to them or go try to give them blankets and feed them because they're gonna give us something back. No, we go to show them 
the love of God, that God loves them. He cares about them. He protects them. So that's why we do those type of things. And that's why you can do the same thing, Faith Kids. So again, this week, Faith Kids, we're going to do what? Focusing on loving our enemies, right? So next week, I will see you again. I know you've got a great word. Remember your Bible memory verse. Luke chapter 6, 27 and 28. Meditate upon it this week, fake kids, and I will see you again on next week. Bye.